What up guys, it's uh, about 20 after 6 a.m. and I'm sitting outside the gym about ready to go in and get a quick workout in. Um, goal was to get up by 5.30 today and out the door by quarter to 6, which didn't happen. Um, I did get up at 5.30 but I did hit the snooze alarm uh, once. So I at least stuck by that. Um, I only hit it once, but then I laid in bed <laughs> for a few extra minutes after that and uh, didn't really get out the door until um, a couple minutes after six. And it takes about um, 10 minutes to get to the gym. So um, gonna have to cut it a little bit short on the workout to make it all fit so I can get to work on time because I actually have to be at work a little bit early this morning. Um, I keep seeing people come and get out of the gym and I'm like, oh, they're gonna think I'm a weirdo like just sitting here talking to my phone in the parking lot, but who cares? That's the life of uh, vloggers, right? <laughs> um, at what point do you get to call yourself a vlogger? Like, at, is it just because you're doing a vlog or do you have to do a series of them and actually be posted? I don't know. I suppose the posting is what makes the vlog, right? Um, regardless, gonna hit the gym, don't want to waste any more time, and I will see you guys in a bit. Alright, just finished up my workout. Monday is our leg day, so I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I always like leg day. I've always been able to build muscle uh, in my legs easier. I don't know if that comes from growing up playing tennis or just genetics, both. Probably both. Um, so yeah, got through leg day and still feeling pretty tired. Um, so I think I'm gonna go run through Dunkin' and get some coffee. Um, and then I'm gonna hit the showers, get some breakfast. Um, I meal prepped yesterday, so I've got some great um, healthy meals for the week all ready to go in the fridge and just gotta heat them up for the most part. And uh, then I gotta hit the road, get to work, and I will hopefully get through the day <laughs> on some of that sweet, sweet caffeine, and um, hopefully tomorrow will be a little easier because I can get to sleep a little faster after being tired today. So I will see you guys on the flip side. Heading out for the second time today. I uh, came back from the gym a couple of days ago, got a shower, got something to eat. Now I'm heading out to go get my library card because we moved here. Um, oh boy, beginning of September. So it's been several months and I still haven't gotten my library card. Tisk tisk, not a good reader habit. <laughs> um, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts lately, especially from Matt Diabella, The Ground Up Show, and a few others, and I just keep hearing over and over again the importance of reading, which, like, of course I knew. <laughs> um, you know, I studied creative writing in college and communication studies and, like, spent years reading prior to that just because I love it and because I recognize the importance of reading, um, especially in the areas of self-development, personal development, you want um, to be taking in a lot of good, uh, well-researched, um, well-thought-out information, and uh, uh, books are the best place to do that, I think, at least, and um, I recognize that I have not been reading nearly as much as I should, and so I'm going to go remedy that, get myself a library card, and I'll catch in, uh, check in with you guys in a little while. Just got my card, walking outside of this beautiful library, see how much of it I can capture. Um, yeah, it's huge. And it's really beautiful inside. There's a ton of resources. They got this whole like kids hangout space upstairs, which like when I was a teenager, I hung out at the library all the time with my friend Tanner. Hi Tanner. And we would just waste away our afternoons after school um, at the public library in the town where we grew up. And this one is huge compared to the one we had. And the one we had was, was nice, don't get me wrong, but it was, uh, not anything like this one. This is massive, uh, just full of books. Books always make me feel really excited and like pretty stoked because there's just all the stories and all the knowledge contained in them. And I know we have the internet now and like you could totally look up anything you want to know like on your phone, on Google, whatever, but there's something really um, 
magical to me about books still. And uh, I kind of wonder if that'll continue. Like, will there always be people that find books as magical as I do? Um, because, you know, that used to be the only way that you found information or that was your portal to a different universe or a different life other than your own and now we have so many ways to do that whether it be you know vlogging or um more formalized forms of you know long form essays or whatever that you can read on the internet blogging you know obviously movies and tv are still around and those are accessible in completely new ways too and um books almost seem low tech you know kind of ancient compared to the ways that we consume a lot of our media now the way that we interact with stories now is a lot different and i kind of wonder if kids who grow up with this will still feel as enchanted by books you know like not even just now but like later down the road i can't imagine that books are going to be become more part of young people's lives at least you know institutionally so like just thinking about books thinking about how cool they are and thinking about um how neat it is to have this awesome resource here just a few minutes from my house um i'm excited to have a good library again um i'm gonna head on home and edit up this footage get this posted and uh start taking advantage of some time to sit down and read before i have to get up early like way early <laughs> um tomorrow i'm starting all over at 5 a.m like i've been saying i was going to but now i have to uh because my work schedule is um on my corporate training this week so i'm going to be on the road for um well twice as long as my normal commute possibly longer depending on how bad that early morning traffic is so want to get a good night's sleep tonight want to hit that hard uh in the gym tomorrow morning and make that my normal routine moving forward that is the goal so with that i will say uh peace out and i will talk to you soon